Hello everyone, so today our team members are going to present our final project which is the image and video processing. First of all, let me introduce you to our team members. There are Evelyn Charisma, Fancy Lantana, and Jenny Giovanni Tan. So this is the overview of our presentation. There are the basic principles, the application of other examples, and lastly, the creative proposal. Next, I'm going to pass the presentation to my fellow friend, Jenny Giovanni Tan. So there are two basic principles. The first one is digital video image processing, and the second one is digital video processing. There are three types of digital image processing. The first is digital image processing, and then principles of image processing and image compression. Digital image processing is a subfield of digital signal processing that deals with the manipulation of digital image using the computer algorithm. The image captured by a camera and has been sent to a digital system to remove all the other details and just focus on the water drop by zooming it in such a way that the quality of the image remains the same. There are several advantages of over analog analog image processing such as allows the use of much more complex algorithm and then it also can avoid problems such as the build up of noise and signal dis distortion during processing and the last since images are defined over two dimensions digital image processing may be modeled in form of multi-dimensional systems here is the example of digital image processing versus analog image processing we can see that after the image is processed, it will be brighter than the original image. There are eight principles of image processing. Image compression. The objective of image compression is to reduce irrelevant and redundancy of the image data in order to be able to store or transmit data in an efficient form. There are two types of image compression. The first one it is lossless compression and then the second one is lossy compression. Here is the example of image compression. We can see the differences in the file size. For example, the first image original file size is 568 kilobyte and after it's compressed it changed to 536 kilobyte. Here are the the differences between lossless compression and lossy compression. Lossless compression is preferred for archival purposes and often used for medical imaging. Lossless compression also allows the original data to be perfectly reconstructed from the compressed data. However, the lossy compression are especially suitable for natural images such as photographs in application. However, lossy compression are especially suitable for natural images such as photographs in application where minor loss is fidelity is acceptable to achieve a substantial reduction in bitrate. Lossy compression also, also permits reconstruction only of an approximation of the original data. Here is the method of lossy compression and lossless compression. For lossless compression, the methods are first run length encoding, area image compression, DPCM and predictive coding, and the last is entropic encoding. However, for lossy compression, the methods are Cartesian perceptual compression, JPEG, JPEG 2000, wavelet compression, block truncation coding. Here is the difference between after we compress an image by using lossless and lossy. For lossless compression, the images are more clear than the lossy compression. Some format of image compression are BMP, TIFF, PNG, JPEG, and JPEG 2000. Digital Video Processing Digital Video Processing is a subfield of digital signal processing that deals with the manipulation of moving visual images in the form of encoded digital data using the video filter technique. Here is the Digital Video Processing Pipeline. The first it will be captured and then post processing and storage. It will be distributed of the air satellite cable, digital media such as DVD, Blu-ray, and then internet services. And the last, it will be playback. There are seven principles of video processing. The objective of video compression is to reduce irrelevant and redundancy in the video data 
in order to be able to store or transmit data in an efficient form. Like the image compression, there are two types of video compression, which is lossless and lossy. Lossless compression, every single bit of data that was originally in the file remains after the file is uncompressed. All of the information is completely restored. This is generally the technique of choice where losing data could pose a problem. Lossless compression is best for every stage of the editing process for capture or to edit. However, lossy will reduce a file by permanently eliminating certain information, especially redundant information. When the file is uncompressed, only a part of the original information is still there. Lossy compression format are currently the best way to deliver high quality video to your portable media player or to YouTube. There are five methods for lossy video compression. H. 264, MPEG2, MPEG4, MPEG1, and VC1. So for the application of other example, it will be explained by Evelyn Charisma. So for the example of the application, there are two, there are digital image processing and for the video image processing. So for the example of application of image processing, there are automatic visual inspection system, remotely sensed since interpretation, biometric and biomedical image processing, computer vision, and moving video detection and tracking. For, so for the first one is automatic visual inspection system. It is a method of quality control, data acquisition, and then data analysis. Commonly, this visual inspection is used in maintenance of facilities, means inspection of equipment and structure, using either or all of raw human senses such as vision, hearing, touch, smell, or even other inspection method. Second is the remotely sensed sense interpretation. It is the acquisition of information about an object and phenomenon without making physical contact with the object and thus in contrast to on-site observation. There are two types of, sens of sensors such as passive sensor and active sensors. So here is the imaging of the passive remote sensing and the active remote sensing. You can see that for the passive remote sensing, the radiation comes from the sunlight and it reflects the object in the earth. And so our equipment sets the reflected radiation and form an image of the earth. Whereas for the active remote sensing, both the radiation and the reflected ray will go to the equipment. Next is the biometric and biomedical image processing. Biometric denotes two metrics related to human characteristic. Biometric authentication is usually used in computer science for identification and access control. Medical imaging is a technique of and processing of creating visual representation of the interior of a body for clinical analysis and medical inter intervention. Next is the computer vision. Computer vision is a method that studies how to reconstruct, interpret, and understand a 3D scene from its 2D images in terms of the properties of the structure present in the scene. The goal of a computer vision is to model, replicate, and exit human vision using computer software and hardware. Next is the moving object detection and tracking. Widely used for low-level tasks of computer vision application. There are two types of approach, which is region-based approach and boundary-based approach. Here is the example of it, where is the image of the image is being tracked by the application of the moving and tracking detection. And this is the example while tracking human movement using the PTG camera. Next is the example of application of video processing. First is video player. Digital video player is an electronic device that can connect to a home network to stream video, digital video. Video player can also do a playback locally stored content from the direct attached USB hard disk or even direct connect hard disk drive externally. Video scaler. Video scaler is a system which convert video signal from one display resolution to another. Next is the digital television, which is the transmission of television signal using digital rather than conventional analog methods. 
High definition television is a resolution quality video developed the replacement for all video format which is the standard definition television. Next is the digital cinema. It is the use of the digital technology to distribute or project motion picture as opposed to the historical use of motion picture. So here is the image of how digital cinema system is configured. Video streaming is an accorder to digitize the content delivered live using internet that allow user to broadcast personal space through media such as video camera, audio interface, and screen capture software. Video codec is a device or software that is used to compress and decompress a digital media file such as music or video. There are two categories which is encode to perform the compression and decode is to perform the decompression.